Well, welcome back to the uh, one two three D design videos. I um, I haven't made one in a while, but the reason I'm back is because with the latest update of one two three D design for Mac, they've added the feature that has been available on the online version for quite some time, and that's the ability to add text. So I'm going to show you. This video should be fairly short. I'm just going to show you how to bring it onto the screen, onto your work plane and then how to extrude or how to bring it up to give it three dimensions. So I'm going to click on text and then I'm going to click somewhere on the screen here one more time and what you're going to see is a text window opens up that tells you what what the, the words are. Currently it's just the word text. I'm going to change that to hello. Uh, it allows you to pick a font. I'm going to pick something like century which is a fairly common font and nice and thick. Um, and then it's going to also allow you to pick size. And so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, 20 millimeters. And that's the what that height is, is the height from the bottom to the top of the letter if you were looking at it straight on. So that's all you need to do. There's a, an ability to change the angle, and that's this angle here. Um, in this exercise, it, you really don't need to do that because I'm just starting off with a word. If I were placing the word into an existing object, then I might want to adjust the, the angle um, to fit the object that I'm building. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it as is, and I'm going to hit OK. And once you hit OK, you'll notice, as with every object in uh, 1, 2, 3D Design, when you click on the object, you're going to get the gear. That's going to allow you to do more steps or take further steps. And in this case, there are only four. One is to edit, to go back and change that text. So if I wanted to change it from hello to goodbye, I would do that here. You could move the text. In our little example here, we don't need to move it anywhere. You might if you were bringing the words into another design now. Uh, there's extruding, which is what we're just about to do right now. And then there's exploding. And what exploding does is it, it uh, takes all these components that are currently one word um, and breaks them up into all, all individual pieces. Um, and that, that would be good if you were doing different things with a different letter. So in this case, we're not doing that. Uh, we're just going to extrude. So I'm going to click on this. And then I get the choice of either pulling up this way, as we do with regular objects, or of typing uh, a distance here. And so maybe I'll just type 5 in there and hit return. And so that gives us the word hello in five millimeter depth. That's all there is to it. And then so that can be, that's now becomes one of your objects that you can then 3D print. One last thing that I did want to show you was if you did want to add text to an existing object. So what you see in front of you right now is just a simple um, block. And what I'd like to do is add some text to one of its sides. And what happens is when you click on the text tool up at the top, when you then hover over the object, it would allow you, what it's doing is it's moving the work plane depending on where your mouse is. So if I wanted words up here, then I would just click here. If I wanted words off to the front, I would just click here. And that's what I'm going to do in this case. I'm going to click one more time. And it's going to show me the text and the ability to type. So I'm going to, um, let's see if I can move this down a little bit. And I'm going to type the word hello again. And I'll, I'll just leave it the same font at this point, uh, same bold and italicized. And I'll leave it at 10 point. And I'll hit OK. The work plane goes back, the grid goes back to where it was originally. But now I have the word hello sitting on this object. And this is a two-dimensional hello, meaning it doesn't go in or out. So right now, it's just sitting there waiting to be extruded. If I click on it, I get those four options again, like we saw earlier. I'm going to click on Extrude. And then it's going to give me the ability to pull out. And in this case, I'm just going to make it really very thin. I'm going to make it only two millimeters of distance. I hit Return. And now you'll see the box with the word hello sort of... Um, sticking out of it. And that's exactly what this 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 text tool can do for you. So now I have a, a raised word hello above my box.